Hello guys, welcome back to Constrom GIS. So today we are going to look at uh, Orfeo Toolbox. It's a plugin for QGIS. It's used to do a uh, image classification. So as you can see if you search Google search or Orfeo Toolbox, you will see it will land you to this page. You can see it's an open source processing of remote sensing data and uh, it allows you to do some really detailed uh, classification of your data. And in my opinion, I'd say it's much better than uh, maybe supervised or unsupervised classification. Uh, so in this uh, video, I'm going to guide you on how to download and install this plugin within your QGIS environment and get started. So it's quite a straightforward process. Just uh, stay with me and let's get it done. So the first step we're going to do is going to download this. So once you open the Orfeo toolbox, you're going to come to this page and you're going to click uh, download. So what it's going to do, you're going to select uh, your um, operating system. So if you're using Windows, you'll select Windows. Same for the other uh, options. And in my case, I'm using Windows. So I will download that and it will start here. So thing is, uh, it's not that big. It's like uh, 107 MB. So this is going to take uh, just a few seconds and it will be done. So once it's done, we will extract this uh, to uh, our local disk C. So my mine is done. And uh, what actually I did is I extracted the file. And you can see once I extracted, I brought the folder to my local disk C. I just copy pasted it once I had extracted it. And you can see within this, I have some files within this uh, folder. And uh, what I'm actually interested in or what we are interested in is within the bin. And these are some of the packages that are going to allow this, this plugin to work correctly. So on top of that, there are some other things that you should be aware of. Example is within this folder called uh, lib. If you open it and you proceed to OTB, you can see this folder. It's very important. It's within your lib folder. And then OTB, uh, this is a very important one that we will be using later as well within our QGIS environment. So once you have copied this, remember to bring it to local disk C, always just bring it, just copy paste it once you extract it. So once that is done, let's head to our QGIS and see how we can now start using it. So thing is, uh, for me, I've already installed, so I will be showing you what to do. So usually this is a, an inbuilt plugin. So if you come to plugins and you manage and install plugins and you search on fail. So if you just search that, you will see it here. And as this says, this is an inbuilt plugin. So you cannot uninstall it. Means it already comes pre-installed. Pre so that's what advantage for it. So most in most in uh, by default it's always checked off so we are going to check this on if yours is not checked on and since this is your first time probably installing this plugin it will not be visible uh, anywhere in your qgs interface but for me it will be visible so i'm just going to check this on and i'm going to close this so technically this should appear on my uh act toolbox and if I refresh this, it's uh, going to show. So what 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 we're going to do? We are going to come to um, plugins and uh, ensure that uh, yeah, once now everything looks good, we will come to settings and proceed to options. So once the options open, you will come to processing. And then you will proceed. So processing is on your is, is for for my I'm using QGIS 3.28, so it's down second last. You will come to providers, and you will see OTB here. So you can see I have OTB here. So once we set these paths to the correct path, they will be uh, the OTB folder will be appearing in the processing toolbox. So. What we are interested in are these two parts, these and these. And you can see the first one is OTB application folder. And if you remember, we found the OTB 
uh, under inside the lib inside the otb you can see the application folder this is the path that you're going to use uh, and the one that you're going to set so that's for application folder and then this is the main folder now the main folder which is uh this one so this is what you're going to set uh within the this path so let's start with this one uh we will double click on it select these three dots and then i'm just going to remove this uh this one and i'm going to add a new one so i will navigate to my c under this you can see this now here we are setting the application path so proceed to once you open the folder proceed to lib then otb then application this is the folder we are interested in select that folder and uh, press ok so we have set the application folder now that we have to set the main folder double click on it again and this time we are interested in this folder the whole folder now just select folder and that is it so that once you have done that just press ok and uh, it should be appearing within your processing toolbox so it's just taking a second to update everything within my QGIS environment and we will have our OTB ready. So as you can see, I have my OTB and now I've installed successfully the plugin and you can do image uh, processing using this and uh, have some amazing output. So that said, uh, we will do image uh, classification, object-based image classification in our next video. Be sure to check it out as well. Uh, and it was always a pleasure. Thank you guys. Like this video, share and subscribe and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you guys.